Welcome everyone to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Now, this is the sequel to Amnesia, the Dark Descent. So right off the bat, you know, it's going to be kind of spooky, creepy. Uh, you know, it's going to it's going to have all that stuff, all the fun stuff. A lot of reading. So get ready for that one. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> um, as you can also see, there's no background. I'm uh i've i have no background you cannot see the back of the entire apartment or the front of the you know what i mean anyway <laughs> uh i'm using uh a new nvidia software um that kind of just does that without me needing uh kind of like a green screen um so it's actually quite, quite useful. And, and yeah, I mean, it kind of like kind of helps out a lot, but just kind of putting me in the in the bottom here instead of just putting me in a huge box. Uh, I can try it. Hopefully it's not too bad. I can still kind of just, you know, make myself disappear, come right back. And it's 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 pretty good. It's pretty it's pretty decent for now. Um. But yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and actually start this. So get ready for another fun, spooky adventure. Now that we're done with Dark Souls, <laughs> uh, so let's go. This was the last game I ever played back when I originally did YouTube in 2014. After this one, that was it. I stopped. Um, I really wish I I I, sh I wouldn't have, but you know, I I went I was dealing with a lot back in my mid twenties, unfortunately. I wonder what the okay so here oh this also gives me time so now I've been contemplating a new way of doing things now. Everyone has their niche, right? Their thing that they do all the time, and I'm kind of hoping that mine will be kind of like a casual gamer's guide to playing a game on hard mode. I'm not trying to be like excessive with like this crazy like holy shit um like impossible difficulties or anything like that like nothing of that nature. Why is this taking so long? Wonder if this is normal. I don't recall. You'd think for having a PC of my magnitude. Hey, look at that. Look, the audio stopped. The audio has completely ceased. And the game didn't crash. He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human. Dr. Samuel Johnson. I also made it a little bit brighter than usual, so hopefully you guys can see the majority of stuff around here. Daddy. Uh, Daddy. Oh. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I can't move anything. What the hell did we just see? Was that a man in a pig mask being electrocuted? And of course, in typical amnesia fashion, it is dark as all hell. Even with the gamma turned up. Um, we're in some kind of a cage. Let's just, uh, let's just come right back up here and, uh... What the frick? Oh, there was somebody there. 
And I pass out again. I mean, honestly, could you just, could we not? What did you roll out of the cage? Oh, there it is. Amnesia, a machine for swine. <laughs> oh, okay, we've been, we've been at the bottle for too long, I see. Okay, so we're just hungover. We're just seeing shit. My guy. All right, well. Can we freaking get it together? Thank you. Now, I mean, you guys can't see Jack still. Uh, everything here is pretty much just kind of like locked up. Uh, Uh, even with the gamma up. So I wonder why are the, why is everyone in cages? See, it's got the little thing here. You got the usual, you got the usual, uh, usual stuff. Pick up. You can move it around with your, with your scroll wheel up and down or forward and back. Uh oh yeah, you can hit R. You can rotate it. Right click tosses it. Ah, yes, the the many pig masks that we're gonna find within this game. Got a Bible and some other stuff here. Now, I'm ultimately curious here because the texture quality is high. This is as high as it's gonna get. Yeah. And the gamma's at 1.5, so let's see. What happens if we turn the gamma all the way up? You guys still can't see anything. And it looks like shit <laughs> on my end, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go back to, to 1.5. Well, you'll be able to see eventually. I do apologize for that, but at the end of the day, it's a horror game, so what do you really expect? It's a miracle you can see anything at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's this? Do we have a narrator? Do I have to... Okay. In my dreams, I see a man. Dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a bloodied saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil under its thread and liberated us all. The foetid heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds. The blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive there. A rat. A damned rat gnawing through my brains. Eating its way out into the world. Even the laudanum will not quell this endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? That is 1899, huh? What is this douchebag talking about, I wonder? Oh! Oh, there's electricity! Forgot about that. That's uh that's cool. But you can okay look, you can guys you guys can see this one a little bit better. It's 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 locked up with some type of contraption. They all are. It's kinda weird. A little bit funky. Okay, there we go. Daddy, daddy, find us. Alright, so we got uh we got some hints now. Where's our journal? There we go. J for journal. That's what I saw, my journal. Fever dream. Hear that? I wake alone to the house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and beckoned. Beckoned? Fessoned? Sepulchre. <laughs> I wonder if I said that right. Uh, beckoning me to begin the dis a descent to the loam where surely only bodies may be found. No matter. My children can... My children call, and I shall answer. I will find them. Alright. You got the basic hints. Um, right, so, let's see. 
if we can continue to move forward and find more things around here. I'm going to completely guess that our children are all the way down there, and I'm not going to go all the way down there just yet, so not happening. Let's go into the potty. I mean... Okay. Aside from the fact that this bathtub is absolutely stunning. Can't open these up. Random pictures on the walls. I mean, Jesus. Look at... Okay. Can you flush that? Can't even touch the toilet, but... Clearly there's functioning plumbing. Can't open that. Alright, let's continue moving forward. All these pictures are so freaking weird. Is there something hidden in the background? Maybe like a, like a monster back there or something? Oh no. There's no way to go down. That's locked up. This is the other room. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Edwin and Enoch. Okay. So from that, basically, I'm going to assume that the man's wife died in childbirth. Another pig mask. Lovely. Got a little bit of screen tearing, which is weird. Uh, turn these off. This is open as well, so whoever was sleeping in there is clearly gone. Got some glasses. Are those fucking teeth? Ew, dude. There's someone's teeth in this water. I got that used to be a thing. I mean, is that even still a thing? Can you guys tell me that? Like, do people p still put their fake teeth in in water, like little water glasses? When they go to bed. Now, okay, so it, everything seems to be doing perfectly fine so far. Um, OBS is doing pretty well. I mean, aside from just a little bit of lag. Uh, we'll see how this goes. If it's, if it's, like, it's not that bad. Like, if it's, if it's. If it's too noticeable, aside from the little thing that's happening in my shoulder right here, like, see that shit? <laughs> like, my shoulder's just, like, clipping through whatever the, the camera can't capture at the moment, but, um, I mean, it is what it is. What am I going to do? I live I live in a 600-square-foot apartment, and this is the only place where I can put my freaking computer, so, uh, it's the only thing I, can, <laughs> it's the only thing I got. Papa, Papa, this way. Short kids. Where did this freaking ball come from? Yo. Stop playing around with your toys and pick them up afterwards. Yeah, I can I can do that. I forgot about that. I'm gonna be a great father. <laughs> Alright. There is wine literally everywhere. Like I just I I can't even imagine how much wine people drink in this in this like uh, huge mansion. Okay, that's locked up. What the fuck? That was not open before. Why did my ball come back? What's happening here? Oh, it's like a child's... What was that? Okay, never mind. It isn't a child's room. <laughs> because there's wine in here. What is this supposed to be? Like a slave room or like a guest room or something? There's clothes written about in like huge little things that I know I'm supposed to pick this up. Like a... What up? But they slept in the attic when they were babies in arms. And perhaps they have... Hidden there now. I remember I insisted upon it. Midway between my bedroom and my office. 
You put them in the attic. See the, you can see the dust, kind of coming down from the attic here. Okay, all right, all right. Let's go up into the freaking attic and. Wait, I thought I was your daddy. What was that? Are you guys seeing that shit? You need a lantern first. No kidding. Great hint. Uh, if you guys can't see that, and I'm sure you can kind of see a little bit, the two rockers are kind of, well, rocking. All right, it's quite dark. You can see another pig mask here. Ah! Whoa! Children! Children! Do I have a... Be careful not to attract unwanted attention with the beam. Uh, excuse me? Oh, look at that. Uh, not only look do the rats look dead, they also look eaten. Alright. So the kids are... Well, they're not guiding me here, because... Oh, they are kind of guiding me here. I'm not going there over there. I'm not going there yet. I'm gonna make a break for it over here. Gotta give me this? No? Oh god, okay. <laughs> Let me go over here first, because I, I, I feel like there's... Look, there's something else here. Look, you see? I could have missed, like, a, what is this, like a teddy bear or something? It is a teddy bear. What you got? All right. Edwin and Enoch's Diary. October 11th, 1899. Oh, very close to my birthday here. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He is gone for work before she wakes up, and often we are asleep before he returns. I found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing, and hit it with a rolling pin. Later, he crept downwards to bury the body... Uh, we crept downwards to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it sniffling about. Then Daddy came and said he had to come inside straight or we had to come inside straight away. He was furious. But we did but we think he'd been crying again. Well, okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna go about the fact that these children just assumed that their nanny beating the sh the literal life out of a bird is normal. They're just like, yeah, daddy just, you know, the nanny just hit it over the head with a rolling pin. No big deal. Uh, pretty sure it's a huge deal. We're hiding, daddy. Yeah, I know, children. Can you not do that? I'm trying to find you. Bro, I mean, guys, you can see it now. I mean, honestly. There's another pig mask. Now, let's just separate this aside here. There we go. I do love the fact that this lantern does not need an oil source, just like the first game. So that's lovely. Oh, would you look at that? I'm on the other side of this. Oh, look, they stopped. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Why would they stop? Or why wouldn't they stop, I mean? Got another teddy bear over there. Shit ton of hammers and nails. Okay, so this clearly was an unfinished baby room. God, if I would have seen something up there, I would have freaked out. But where's... Is it this? You can hear them crying too, like...
Okay. Excuse me? Somebody was coming up the stairs, you guys. You got some books. More wine. But there's a note, though. February 14th. Okay. Yes, he said, uh, he said I know these ruins. He was a shabby fellow. All rotten. All rotten with malodorous uh, disease. I caught him looking at me strangely, as if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of them, biting back the temptation to box his ears for, for the impudence. What the hell? I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. The illiterate oaf did not understand what that, of course, he agreed to lead us anyway. I told him the children truly uh, I I have to I have told the children truly this will be an extraordinary extraordinary adventure if those old stones hold the financial benefits I predict it will be merely the first of many wonderful oops okay so this one is about stones but are we talking about the same ones as the first game? You know what I'm talking about? Like the... Like those orbs? Right? Or is it something else? Nothing over there, right? It came from there. Nothing here. This is locked up. I'm supposed to see something. This is also locked up. So both these two... Kids! Let me see something. One second. Uh, graphics. Let's put the textures. Oh, what is that? Oh, here we go. Um. Let's put the resolution on medium. Okay, well, we're doing a, uh, well, we're almost done with our first chapter here. I mean, clearly the game is having a little bit of an, of an issue trying to run all that stuff together. The piano is playing by itself. Jesus Christ! Okay, let's put this back on so everybody can see. So that had nothing to do with anything, okay. More booze. Of course a room, okay. All right, one second, everybody. Back to it. Now that the immersion has been completely destroyed. Looks like they found these orbs or something in some kind of pyramid or something of the of that nature. You got some stuff here indicating that they were exploring some shit that they shouldn't have done. You got a freaking bust wearing a pig mask. I mean, honestly, could you be any more weird? What happened here? Everything's locked up. I mean, it's good in a sense because it, it kind of makes it a little bit more of a linear trip. But at the same time, like, geez. 
Excuse me? Hello? Hello? Precious eagle cactus fruit. Help us. Precious eagle cactus fruit? Nothing? You have nothing to say to that? Get this out of here. How do you have a fan that works? It's the it's the 1900s. How is that even? It was with. I mean, maybe I'm just being ignorant about this, but either that wasn't a thing, or this is like going into like some steampunk shit right now. All right. Where once we sat to weep Lily's passing, under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from uh, from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald. Where once you watched her bathe, the children must have discovered those secret places taken refuge there. No idea what he's talking about. Oh, look. November 7th. 98 this time. The bank is refusing credit. The ignorant swine. And... I sit alone at night and weep. Once the children and servants are safely asleep, when they cannot hear me, my children, my darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune, that my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied within, without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms, the mechanisms we find pardon, in the looms and the mills? But if, a, if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. Do what? Let's waste your energy, shall we? Feel like being an ass. Let's just leave that light on. You're gonna have you're gonna get a massive electric bill, pal. I didn't close that door. I'm a f I'm fucking scared. <laughs> I don't want to. Ah, okay. Wait, oh, there's nothing there. Okay. God. Okay. <laughs> Still won't open. Oh god. Hello. What the hell, dude? Am I supposed to? Oh, oh, I see. Hello. That's supposed to open in some secret passageway, right? There it is. That explains why he said rifle twice, huh? Oh. Look at these freaking... These Aryan children. What are they doing? What am I doing? Why did I just flip that? Oh, oh. Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna leave it open. Kids! I didn't put that there. I didn't put that there. That was... Is that still there now? What the hell? Kids? Oh, hell no. Excuse? This dawning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. All right, there seems to be some, uh, 
some pictures of folk. Ominous pictures and, and what seem to be other pictures that don't belong. Let me open this door up. Kids? Oh boy. What is happening to this house? What is happening to this house? Oh, oh. In Lily's honor, a banquet. Lilibeth Lily Mandis. Interred here in 26, uh, 26th of, of September, 1890. The angels weep you to the glory. Your teeth sold for the dollies of the poor. What? Eesh. If anyone knows, please explain. Oh, I see the kids up top. There, there, you can see the kids um, above the middle, the middle, uh, the middle window. Above the first one in the middle, the second story window, kind of. Is there anything else I'm supposed to be looking for here? All right. Well, I'll take this time to just kind of like talk a little bit more about my my theory here, my idea. Um. So. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess I don't. I guess it doesn't want me to talk about it. Eh. Okay. All right. So let, let's push forward just a little bit more, just because I spent a little bit of time just kind of being a little confused. Um, we're just going to press forward just a little bit more. Ugh, I do not like the way that the, the, the game is lagging on me. It shouldn't lag. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end it right here and right then and there for this episode. I'm gonna try and figure out why the game is lagging so much and try to organize myself a little bit just to see if I can fix that. So, um, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, there's gonna be a lot more of this to come. Of course, we're gonna finish this one off and move on to scarier games. Um, this one is just a nice little. Nice little comeback. So thank you all so much for watching. Of course, like always, have a wonderful day.